new rule affects adults 18 to 49 years old who don't have a child as a dependent and aren't disabled. One of those people is Shonda Alford Moore. She says if the plan changes take effect, she and thousands of others will need help with what to do next. See, I make a word look. Shots, $194 given every fourth of the month is how Shonda Alfred Moore stocks her kitchen. I don't go in there buying a bunch of junk food. I buy actual food that I'm going to actually stand over the stove and actually cook. Money given by the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, otherwise known as SNAP. I am 44. All of my children are grown, so I don't have any children on my SNAP case. It's just me. Shonda says arthritis in her back caused this situation. She used to be a truck driver, but now the pain keeps her from working. So there are times that my body will go into a paralysis state and I can't walk, I can't move. And she says her condition doesn't qualify for Social Security disability, making her one of the hundreds of thousands who could lose SNAP benefits next year. Because trust me, it's not that I don't want to work. I love to work. Shonda says she goes to therapy every week, but doctors say there's nothing more they can do besides pain management. So as of now, SNAP benefits are the only way she gets money for food. The welfare system was not designed for you to be on it for your whole entire life. It was only designed to help you get up on your feet. And I get that. I honestly get that. But then you have those certain situations, whereas you can't get no further than where you are, again, because of your health disabilities. So that's when you need the welfare system to rely on to help you. So Shonda is calling on the Trump administration to answer what's next for people like her. <clears throat> if Nevada isn't approved for a waiver under the new regulations, people like Shonda would have to start transitioning off SNAP benefits starting in July 2020. Reporting live in the studio, Alexis Gorey, News 3.